Hi, so in this video, I am going to introduce to you what is uh, the IPython. Uh, in the previous video, we uh, you know uh, learned what is IPython, how is it different from the Python software, and uh, this is uh, the IPython uh, you know console that you can see on the screen. Uh, once you download the IPython uh, and then install it in your uh, desktop or laptop, um, you can you can get this screen. Uh, you can get this console uh, by clicking on uh, the um, the you know the program that is already installed in your system. Okay. So uh, in this video, in this tutorial, we'll learn a bit of Python programming on IPython console. So on the IPython console that you can see on the screen, um, you can go to file and then you know start a new window. I've got two window new. It's known as the kernel. Uh, like this is the first one and this is the second one. You can have as many as as, as uh, you want. All right. So uh, so let's write the first uh, Python uh, program. And uh, what we'll do is we'll print some strings and you know some integers and let's see how uh, we do it. Okay, so uh, pretty much like other programming languages, you can print uh, by using the print command. And within bracket, um, you can you can use uh, some sort of a quote, single quote or double quote. I'll talk about what the difference uh, between the single quote and double quote. And let's say we want to um right uh, we want to print hello world okay so all we have done is print and then within bracket and then uh, we are printing here a string hence the string uh, so what do you mean by string string is something that is not uh, an integer so integer is 5 6 7 and all uh, whereas string is a non integer thing so hello world is is these are uh, you know the uh, the uh, the English language words, you can print any kind of things inside uh, inside the code. So whenever we're printing uh, a string, it has to be uh, within quotes. Now we can use single quote. We can also use the uh, double quote. All right. So here it is. It prints hello uh, world. Now we can also use the uh, uh, you know double quote, and it is going to do the same thing. It is going to print um hello world all right so what's the difference between a single code using single code within the bracket and the uh, double code within the bracket so let's uh, try to print something like this okay so we'll single code and then uh, we are going to print something like this we are humans all right now you will see there will be an error Okay, so the error is that uh, so the, the, the code uh, we are um, is is not being understood. Okay, it's a small issue. Okay, so not be a. All right. So uh, this this particular single code which is inside this you know the single quotes uh, is not being understood properly by the uh, Python interpreter. Hence, we'll we'll face this issue. What we can do. In this case, is that we can use the double quote, and then uh, it's not going to be an issue. So within double quote, anything is there, it's going to be interpreted as a string. All right. Now you can see there is no issue with that. So whenever you have special character, right? You know, uh, um, you know, like a single quote. Uh, so that will be considered as a string. So it won't be interpreted as you know some sort of a um, you know some sort of a the um, keyword or, or the key um, the uh, it's not going to create any any problem all right so uh, the next thing we will we'll learn is uh, how to uh, how to use single code and at the same time we can also avoid uh, you know getting such problems okay so all right now in this case we can use what is known as an escape character so it's it's a uh, uh, it's a it's a backward slash okay so just use a backward slash so what it what what it uh, says is that or what it uh, interprets is that 
anything after the backward slash is going to be considered as, uh, uh, as it is not going to be uh, you know interpreted uh, by the uh, the so called uh, you know the grammar or the syntax the so called syntax of python it's going to be ignored it's not it's 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 like any other character you are using in the string so uh, okay let's run this and you will see that we are not facing any issue in this case so sometimes uh, we we can also use this escape characters in order to avoid uh, getting issues while printing uh, you know strings all right uh, the next thing is uh, can we concatenate two strings and print them together yes we can do that so how do we do it so print let's say uh, we want to print two characters so two strings okay so we can put one string within this uh, single code or double code whatever you want to use and then we can use the plus operators to uh, you know concatenate these two strings okay so we can we can we can say um, let's say potato and then onion all right so these are two strings potato is one uh, and the other one is onion we want to print them together by concatenating so what is concatenation is just combining two strings uh, in just and and to ensure that it becomes one word or one sentence okay all right now you can see these two strings are uh, printed after you know uh, the concatenation operation okay so the plus operator actually uh, concatenates okay uh, you can also use uh, comma instead of uh, plus it also works all right <laughs> Uh, so you may be interested in um, you know concatenating an integer um, with uh, with a string right so how does how does one do that um, okay let's say we are to print 10 plus onion okay you will see an error in this case because you know you have 10 and which is an integer plus onion which is a string which is going to create an issue so you will see the error uh, happening so it's not uh, because 10 is is an integer integer and it's being added to uh, a string so uh, python cannot add an integer to a string which is also illogical it cannot be added right so what can be done in this case is the two ways it can be uh, the problem can be overcome one way is uh, by using uh, a string operator okay uh, that means we can we can use it within uh, single quotes and then we can print it and there's no issues we can see that uh, the two strings uh, are being concatenated before print and then uh, they are printed together so you can see here uh, but 10 in this case is 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 uh, considered as a string because you are using this single quote uh, while uh, printing but how can you make sure uh, uh, how can you keep it as integer and yet you can you can print it what you can do is that um, you can use the string operator in order to print it also okay so it will convert it as string while printing and then it should not be an issue i hope yes so there is no issue you can you can you can always do that okay uh, you can also use the uh, int operator in case you want to convert strings to uh, integer okay so let's let's do that so what you can do is integer and then in single quote we write 10 all right so when we Um, all right so uh, what we learned in this case is that although we are using single code if you go back um, to let's say 
uh, in this case the same issue we had faced earlier we are also facing uh, a similar issue so in this case you will see in this particular case when you are using single coat for 10 and onion it is uh, you know printing it perfectly there is no issue with that but here in this case you will see we are using single coat for 10 and single coat for onion but it's still an issue why so because we are using int operator which is converting this string to an integer and hence an integer cannot be concatenated with uh, onion okay uh, so this is this is interpreted as a plus operator and it cannot be uh, uh, you know uh, so this cannot like an integer cannot be added to a string so plus operator is cannot be used in this case so that's the way you can do you, you can print in 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 different um, ways okay what about variables like you you know assign a variable and then you, you want to print it okay let's say we assign a variable let's say x uh, and we assign at a value of 100 okay now 100 is assigned to x and we want to print what is the value of x okay now uh, shall we print within single quote or shall we print in uh, within uh, uh, without using any single quote remember x is a variable now it's no more a string so string is a static value which you want to simply print it, it doesn't carry a hidden value so if we print x um, within single quote it's only going to print x but if you print um, only x without a single quote it is going to print the underlying value of uh, x okay so let's do both okay so we print x it's going to print what is inside x or what is uh, the value the x variable is carrying all right so x text value of 100 and which is being printed here okay let's see what happens if we use single quote in this case all right so you will see it's not printing what is uh, the value x is carrying it is printing only x. it's simply it's x is considered as a static thing it doesn't carry uh, uh, it's, it's not considered as a variable as such. so in this tutorial we learned how to use print function to be able to print strings, uh, you know, variables, uh, uh, integers, uh, of course we can print integers also, so we can print integers directly, okay, for integers you don't need any strings, okay, um, okay, can we do some math operation and print, let's say, let's say we want to do, add two numbers and then we want to print them, okay, 100, 100 and 150 yeah so that's also possible so you can you know you can do math operation like uh, addition subtraction division multiplication inside the print function but make sure that they are integers or float um, and then uh, you, will, you will get the answer there okay so uh, in the next couple of videos we'll learn more about using uh, python programming language for mathematical operation for variable assigning values to variables manipulating data importing data and doing a bit of data analysis uh, on the uh, python platform and using the python programming language so uh, thank you and please subscribe to the channel to get uh, notification whenever we upload uh, new videos thank you